Today in the grain market, soybeans did fall. Heavy selling did flip the uh, trend to lower. And uh, for the first week of August, that November beans are down 33 cents. So uh, yield estimates came out. And I think that's what put the pressure on the market. The estimate is up one and a half bushels per acre. Uh, however, there is some expectations that, the, that were behind fulfilling the phase one trade deal with China. So if there's, a, if there's an uptick, that might actually help. Uh, but for now, that first week uh, kind of was ended on a, on a lower note. And of course, we're gonna be looking towards the WASDE report coming next Wednesday. Although it's gonna be farmer information as opposed from uh, USDA data, and that won't come until September. So just to uh, let you know how that's gonna set up. The corn did retreat as well. That yield estimate, they're up two bushels per acre, uh, up to 180. Uh, that's been pretty high and that just tells you that you know all the crops are actually looking good now for the first week December is down nine cents uh, it's really hovering around that 320 mark and uh, you know will it go to three dollars that's always the big thing that we're looking at and even though there's been drier conditions around the world uh, it really is having little effect on the futures right now uh, wheat dropped as well so more supplies are coming out of Russia and Australia and those numbers did put some big pressure on the market. So it was down the most today. And for the September contract in August, down 40 cents. So everything is really taking a turn lower. That option volatility is 23 and 24% for Chicago and Kansas City. Uh, that just kind of tells us that they, uh, they're they expecting the um, market to either stay where it is or even go a little lower. The objective really was $5 and we've kind of broken through that. 480 would be the next stop. Uh, production is also up in wheat and they're expecting that the uh, the um, the uh, end, ending stocks are going to be higher as well. So as those numbers come out, uh, that will add more pressure to the market right now. And you know, after that, we're just going to be hoping that the U.S.-China tensions start to uh, start to calm down somewhat, so we might be able to get some stabilization in these markets. But today, everything was lower.